So hey guys, this is topic 3.5, rapid prototyping. Okay, so rapid prototyping is essentially, well, I mean, there's a couple ways. There's additive and subtracting, but 3D printing comes to mind, right? But basically what you're doing is you're producing a complete product um, with its internal detail uh, fairly quickly, okay? So you're producing something that is complete fairly quickly. And this, you know, 3D printing is an example, probably the best example that you know of right now. Okay, so that's rapid prototyping. There are sort of two current methods. I'm, you know, the types of uh, rapid prototyping fall within additive or subtractive manufacturing. Um, that's not to say that there won't be different types in the future. I don't know. So, I mean, at this point, these are sort of the main two that you should know. So, you know, it's basically in the name. Additive means that you are adding or depositing by some sort of computer control in some sort of specified space, okay, so you, you're looking at your x, y, z coordinates in some th piece of three-dimensional space. This could be like the printer bed, or it can be, you'll see, lots of different ways. But you're adding material. And then subtractive is basically you're taking away material or milling it. So the sort of technical word for that is milling. And again, this is by computer control. It's specified coordinates in three-dimensional space, and you're, you're taking it away from some sort of material. Okay? And this can be lots of different things. It can be anything from stone to, um, to wood to metal. You know, so there's a ton of different ways that, this, that you can um, subtract things. Okay, now, I, uh, as I was looking for videos for this particular lecture, I was trying to find the ones that are most current because this is a, a really rapidly changing industry and actually this video is good because it shows you both the additive and the subtractive uh, manufacturing but it also um, shows you how big the industry is getting so this is from a trade show in 2019 so it's pretty current so I tried to pick things that are current or are, are pretty cool so here we go so let's uh, write down additive you should have done that already so we're adding material and this is a, a video that shows that okay it's from the Department of Energy in the States it's pretty current it's pretty boring but it's only a minute and a half long so just have a, a quick look at that and it shows you some of the techniques which is why I want you to uh, actually look at it okay um, you know here's an example this is actually kind of an interesting TED talk uh, this woman actually prints 3d she 3d prints clothing so she uses a specific type of filament that is flexible um, so, you know, I think actually in the, in the not too distant future, this is how you will actually, you know, you'll do home manufacturing. So this stuff is, is pushing out into our homes faster and faster and faster. Okay, so here's a couple examples of subtractive um, uh, manufacturing. Again, we're milling, right? Here's that same def definition. So this is just a few different techniques. And then this, this is a five-axis milling machine. This is the kind of stuff they have at the core labs where... If a scientist goes down and says, I need this part for my experiment made out of aluminum, they will be able to mill that. And milling is, again, when you subtract material from something. So it's a five-axis CNC router. At school, we have a three-axis. So three-axis means that it can move in the, the um, X um x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis, right? So those the x, y, z. And that's what our... our um, CNC router can do. Um, you know, if you think of, of yeah, you've, you've all seen that CNC router. Um, if you haven't, well, okay, it's in the it's in the, the design hub. Um, a five axis allows you to just rotate that, so you get different axes as you're rotating it. Okay, so that's uh, this is a five axis um, router. It's pretty interesting, kind of mesmerizing to watch. You, you some of these videos, I would watch them on on double speed if you can, or you know, if you like, you can watch them on slow speed. Okay, um, so here's some other examples. So this is where, where you can um, see these things in action. So just go ahead and you know watch these. They're kind of just visually. I like watching subtractive uh, manufacturing. I think it's kind of satisfying. So um, you can watch these too. Some of these videos have no talking in them. It's all music. So just watch as much as you want of these examples. Uh, it's not really important that you, you watch the whole thing. But they, they are kind of interesting. Okay, so this is a manufacturing technique that you need to know. It's called stereolithography. This is an additive process. And essentially what you're doing is you're shining an ultraviolet uh, laser into resin. And at a specific point, it will harden. 
So, um, and then you, you pull it out of the material. So this, this video is, it's a little old, I'm sorry, it's five years old, but it's a really good introduction to what they're actually doing with this type of, uh, um, this type of uh, manufacturing process. Okay, this is an interesting manufacturing process. Um, this is called laminated object manufacturing. And essentially what you do, and you'll see this, the laser will, will, you know, there'll be a sheet of material and laser will cut a section of that and then you kind of stack them. This is essentially kind of like what we do sometimes in the design hub where we will laser cut something and then we'll stack it so that you get multiple layers. You know, um, we did, uh, one of the students did a, uh, phone stand that way where they stacked wood and glued them together so it's it's kind of like that process where you're stacking pieces of material and gluing them together so that's uh, laminated object manufacturing now the difference between what we do in the laser uh, in the design hub where we are actually stacking and glue them gluing them is this machine will actually do that for you okay so this is called uh, fused deposition modeling and so this is essentially 3D printing. Okay, so I'm, I do have an example. Um, I don't like that it says places melted layers here. So it's a 3D printing technique that places melted layers because I think if it's fused together, this is also an ex interesting example. This is where, uh, this is only a couple months old, um, where they're 3D printing houses using this giant 3D printer and concrete. And it's, this, is, this would be fused deposition modeling because the concrete is fusing together, but it's not being melted. It's, it's in a liquid state when it's fusing, so maybe that, would, that definition needs to be updated. But for us, when we laser print, or sorry, not laser print, when we uh, 3D print, we're using, we're melting um, plastic, and then we're placing layers on a bed. Okay, and that's, that's essentially what our 3D printers are doing. Okay, this is selective laser sintering. <laughs> It's an additive uh, manufacturing process, and a laser will fuse together tiny particles of something um, into uh, a 3D shape. And this, this video really shows it in action. So essentially, uh, you, yeah, you'll see that it, uh, a laser will you know, shoot a laser. It, it uh, melts together this powder, and that will form these. And it's, it's pretty, again, pretty mesmerizing to watch that. So go ahead and enjoy that video. And that's it for today. Thanks, guys.